Howdy, howdy, howdy. If you're new to my channel, you can call me Goldfish or Fish. I love all things crochet, yarn, and book related. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a few Indie Yarn Dyers who've got some Halloween collections going on. All of them are under 5,000 followers on Instagram, starting with Mountains Sage Fiber Co. We've got a little bit of a selection, very small. They've got cute, you know, things going on. I like this horsewood, but we're focusing on Halloween, right? So we have got the Lunar DK hand dyed yarn. And listen, Sage, the minis set is not technically like Halloween from what I've been seeing. Like she's not promoting it as a Halloween yarn, but baby, like, look, these colors fit. We got like a pumpkin going got this like royal purple and then the greens like that's that's screaming halloween to me okay and if anything it's definitely autumnal so if we look at the lunar um she does offer it then dk and i think it's lovely i think it totally fits like a witchy vibe for halloween next up is stitching with yarn they have one designated colorway for october which guys serendipity lovely name but also do y'all see how gorgeous this is like oh i'm i want to snatch this up so bad so bad in the description she says that this is a base of aqua and berry with fall colors and speckles of maroon berry brown and gold and you you can see it oh my god this is gorgeous okay i, I need it i'm doing this so i stop buying more yarn mm. okay so i searched up easily you know halloween yarns in the search bar so you can see everything that stitching with yarn has got okay and they have a selection that's just gorgeous this is not great for my bank account just saying first up we have toil and trouble okay and guys again y'all know listen we may feel how we feel about etsy but i like the fact that we can see how much is left in stock okay so only two left two left mm, this is so for a reason you know what i mean like this is gorgeous this is so pretty i love this we got toll and trouble we have got Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy Hollow. Gorgeous. We have a Spooky and Sweet. We have Witch's Potion. Put a spell on you. Only three left, guys. Something's brewing. Two left. Guys. Oh, this is gorgeous. And of course, let's look at the mini skeins. You know, the tonal colors. We got Royal Purple, Black Cat, Safety Orange, Single Rusty Red, and then a Bright Green okay these yes yes go ahead go ahead put your order in okay these are gorgeous go support small indie yarn dyers okay oh my gosh i'm not gonna say this is my favorite from the list but it's up there okay i'm not i don't i don't play favorites but i, I love these so much moving on to critical hit dies okay listen with the name like that if you guys saw my first video which amateurish at best but there's an indie yarn dyer there that does or did critical role inspired yarn at some point oh my god you don't have to tell me twice okay so with the name like this yeah and under 5,000 followers on instagram no they deserve better than that which also just so you know you might want to check out their instagram because i'm pretty sure that they have you know announcements regarding like a discount for the spooky season which is applied at checkout i tested it out for y'all but anyways let's continue we have their gothic halloween collection now four of these are a limited run only so it ends at the end of October, so you have time to go buy these. But after that, after October 31st, baby, mm, unless they change their minds, unless the demand is there, maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm. We have, of those four, Banshee, Revenant, Wraith, and Candy Corn. Those that are still remaining in their storefront, however, are Displacer, Embers, mind flayer vishka and champion of ravens now if you are a dnd fan if you are a critical role fan baldur's gate fan baby you're gonna recognize some of these names i was interested though i did a little google search who, who who's vishka right that is their homebrew god of death i believe in the sellers campaign and i i love that i love that oh my god yes absolutely do more homebrew stuff and funnily enough 
they have tags. I love tags. You can go to Homebrew and then you can just look at, you know, colorways based off their old games of Dungeons and Dragons. And I am very much obsessed. Okay. Like, look at this Nightmare of Aaron gradient and then the Shadow of. Pff, yeah. Oh, pff, I. I can get behind this, okay? Just, just so you can. I mean, obviously, that's why I'm talking about them in the video. But again, just a reminder, check out their Instagrams. As always, I'll have everything in the description below. So you guys can just, you don't even got to work that hard. I did all the work for you, okay? You just got to, you know, add things to your cart, click checkout, and you're done. You're good. The next indie yarn dyer we have is Red Truck Fiber Co. They don't have a lot of yarn for the Halloween spirit. They don't. But I did find two colorways that I felt matched. So I, I will be showing you guys. So first off, though, notions. Look at these really cute pumpkin lantern head notions. Like, I that's that's so cute. That's cute. I have enough stitch markers, but you know what? Like, I still think this is super cute. Now, this is their designated Halloween colorway, and it is called Sleepy Hollow. I think it's quite cute. I would love to see more, though. You know what I mean? And so now, onto the two colorways that I felt totally matched the spirit. You've got Pumpkin Juice, which we're not going to talk about that. But Pumpkin Juice, that's a cute, that's a cute color. You know what I mean? And then we have Spice, which, you know what? Maybe it's not Halloween, but I think it's beautiful. And if it's if it's the autumnal vibes. Moving on, we've got Woodland Wool. You don't have to scroll too far to find these. And unfortunately, this this is one of the cutest ones, I think. Jack Lantern is sold out as of filming, but you still got four options, okay, for the Halloween spirit. You have got Peekaboo Pumpkin. how pretty i love the speckles of black here oh the second that you see here is midnight cauldron also quite pretty much more black dye used here than in peekaboo pumpkin Ooh, that's cute that's cute then we've got Witch's Brew, which I'm I'm a fan of. If I had to pick, I think this is my favorite one of the four that you can purchase at this time. And then finally, we have the Spooky Pink Glow, which, yes, this is 100% Halloween. Okay, look, there's a pumpkin. Okay, that's, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Argue with the wall. Spooky is in the name. Okay, well, I just, yes. We are now at the second to last in a yarn dyer, the whimsical U. Listen, I did have to Google that to see the pronunciation. That's okay because we have this really pretty yarn. It's just the one. They've got the one dedicated Halloween yarn and it is called the Boo Crew. It is quite beautiful. I'm so sorry. I had to. I had to. Okay. I love me some puns. But anyways, listen, it's got a soft gray and black base with bright pops of purple, orange, and green with black speckles. Oh, and some green speckles too. So you know, I think it's I think it's very charming. The Buku. And finally, last but very much not least, she is popular. She is picturesque. She is potions and pearls. Take a scroll through her Etsy and you are going to find some really pretty Christmas yarns up. But, but let's not forget our focus is Halloween, okay? So let's, oh, look at how pretty this is. <laughs> let's jump to her Halloween. I would argue that Mystic Moon is a Halloween yarn, okay? Like the moon is just so Halloween coated, okay? Spooky coated. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the designated Halloween yarns, or at least what I assume to be designated Halloween yarns. First up, we have Hello Brutiful. And okay, listen, keep in mind, when I said that she was popular, she is popular. Okay, 13 carts. Y'all have got competition, okay? And, you know, funnily enough, when I was doing my research, there were five Halloween colorways, or what I deem to be Halloween colorways. And at the time of recording, there are only three. So I'm I'm so sorry, but whoever got me and my boo sock set 
and then the ghouls rule mini skein set good on you good on you good on you but anyways hello beautiful this is a sock set and honestly it's gorgeous like who does not love brown cream moments okay i know i do and the best part is you actually get to choose your mini skein set colorway and so i believe this to be chocolate and then this one to be coffee, which you would just type in the comments as you check out. Then we have Sleepy Hollow, which is just, I mean, this is, I, I love these contrasting colors of turquoise and orange. I think it's so lovely. And I would love to see this worked up. I really would. And they use, she used the inspiration pick. Yes, she did, because it is perfect. It matches so well. Um. So as always, guys, listen, you there's two left at the time of recording. Okay, so hopefully I can edit this fast enough for someone to still be able to make this purchase. But if not, she's obviously got some Christmas yarns and some other really just nice colorways, okay? But anyways, this is another sock set. Then finally, we have Witch's Brew. There's just one left, and it is a mini skein set with, you know, obviously inspired by witches. So running through running through the list today, I showed you guys seven indie yarn dyers with Halloween inspired collections. We had Mountain Sage Fiber Co. Stitching with Yarn, Critical Hit Dyes, Red Truck Fiber Co., The Whimsical You, and Potions and Pearls. Here's my obligatory reminder that if you are able to afford hand dyed yarn and would like to. Let me be your enabler. Okay, do it. Why not? You know, you deserve it. <laughs> However, if you know that you can't or shouldn't, then don't. You know, I completely understand the major FOMA that comes from missing yarn drops or the panic that comes from knowing something is limited. But there will always be beautiful hand-dyed yarn out there that calls to you. Trust me, y'all. There will always be something out there for you, okay? So it's okay if you can't buy it now. One day. One day, guys. As always, do all the youtube -y things. Like subscribe especially if you want to see more videos like these i was feeling inspired last week to do this and i've seen enough yarn colorways now to know that oh yeah i'm i'm making more of these but the attention fuels me anyways okay okay so you know and you know what if you do buy yarn from these indie dyers that i have featured here today let them know in the comments when you check out i'm not sponsored or affiliated in the slightest um, I have like a handful of followers on Instagram, but I'm real curious to see what could happen, you know? Anyways, you know, check out my Instagram where I post my whips and finished objects plus yarn that I buy. And if you have some favorite indie yarn dyers, send them my way. Okay. My stash will go down eventually. Plus also, if you did buy some of these yarns or plan to, or, you know, whatever, and you want to show off what you made with it let me know okay i would absolutely love to see how these yarns worked up in a project would absolutely love to see that so by all means thank you so much for watching i hope y'all have a great day